Hey guys, it's Ashlyn. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing the highly requested makeup collection. I have gotten so many requests to do this video and it is kind of insane so i'm going to be doing it in this video also the reason why i'm wearing this much makeup right now is because i just went live on my makeup account makeup by asha one and i did this makeup look and i really like how it turned out um so yeah i just wanted to get out a disclaimer i know you guys probably don't even want to hear this but there's some people out there that might take this the wrong way or like start hating on me for no reason <laughs> but i just wanted to say i am not trying to brag i know you've heard that bazillion bazillion times if you watched the makeup collection i am not trying to brag at all i pay for this with my own money babysitting is my job youtube is my job so makeup is my job <laughs> therefore that's why i have this much makeup yeah i just wanted to get that out of the way i really don't think i needed to say that just because it's been said enough but <laughs> yeah so if you'd like to see my makeup collection which you probably do because you clicked on this video and I've gotten like a bazillion requests to do this, then yeah, let's go ahead and get started. All right, here we go. Right here is my brushes and beauty blenders. So I have a variety of different beauty blenders. I have the real one and then just some other ones, including like Real Techniques ones. Right here is all my face brushes. I'm not really gonna get into too much detail on them because I feel like that would get really boring really fast. And then I have all my eye brushes. So yeah, again, I just have a wide variety of them. My favorites are like these Quivange brushes. You can get them off of Amazon. Um, they just come in a big set with some like face brushes too. And usually another thing that is on here is always this. It's always on my drawers and it's just this little like mirror thing. Um, it's super helpful when I do my makeup. So you can just turn it on and... So when I go live on my makeup account, I just set my phone up to this and then it has good lighting without having to set up big lights. Most of you know what these are, but I store my makeup in the Alex 9 drawers. You can get these at Ikea. Also, the things that are holding my brushes are also from Ikea. And then this is just from Walmart, but I had to fit it into my drawers. So I just put it along here too, just to kind of keep this more clean. And I for sure, I'm not even gonna get into this because it is uh, very messy. It, it's where I keep all my skincare and stuff like that. Oh wow, there is makeup on my hand. Just where I keep all my skincare and stuff, and like my cotton rounds and like, you know, all that stuff, like makeup remover, really just any of that stuff. All right, so in the second drawer is finally where my makeup starts. So in this drawer, I keep eyebrow things, color correctors, and these two things are primers. Oh wow, I really should have filmed this with my acrylics on. My nails are looking crusty, oh gosh. Anyways, okay, so in my little eyebrow thing, I keep my eyebrow like gel things, which are both from e.l.f. I have two eyeshadow primers, which is the Essence in the Urban Decay one. I also have two eyebrow gels, and I use an eyebrow gel every single day, so I have two clear ones which is the Essence one and the Maybelline Great Lash. The brow pencils that I have are the Isler Brow Magician ones. It has a gel on one side and then a pencil on the other. Then the Anastasia Brow Wiz in medium brown and, and the e.l.f. eyebrow pencil. Now, I really never use color correctors, but I just have two of them. Actually, I have three. I have another one of the Sephora ones, but I have the green one and I don't know why it's not in here. So I have this yellow one from Sephora and the Essence Color Correcting Stick and it's supposed to help with dark circles. Like I said, I never really use them, but they're there if I ever need them. And then there are two of these Halloween makeup things, which are probably not supposed to stay in your makeup collection all year, but I have them in case I want a black or white face paint. <laughs> Moving on to primers. I kind of have an obsession of primers for some reason. I really don't know why, um, but I really like them. So I don't have them separated, by really much besides kind of how the packaging looks but in this one i have the sacha mattifier face primer which isn't my favorite but it's not terrible and i have three smashbox ones the regular one and the radiance one i have the mini size and the big size and the benefit professional which i love in this one i have the becca first light priming filter which is probably my favorite primer it is so good and then the urban decay optical illusion complexion primer two elf ones the illuminating and the blemish control one down here i have the hard candy coconut water primer stick the milk makeup blur stick which i absolutely love and the milk makeup cooling stick 
In my third drawer, I keep more of my face things. So I have powders, concealers, and foundations. Back here in my powders, I have two pressed powders, which I have two of the Stay Matte powders, along with the Wet n Wild pressed powder. I have the Laura Mercier, which is my absolutely favorite setting powder. It is so good. And the Cody Airspun back there. For concealers, I have two of the Tarte Shape Capes, one in my summer shade and one in my winter shade. I have light neutral and fair neutral. Then the Makeup Revolution concealer, the e.l.f. concealer, the Wet n Wild one, which is my favorite concealer. It is so good. Maybelline's Better Skin Concealer. This Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer, which I have it in this shade because sometimes I use it for like liquid slash cream contouring, you know? And the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. This little thing is the Becca under eye brightening corrector. This probably should be in my color corrector spot, but then I'd really forget to use it. So that's why I keep it with my concealers and you just put it on before your concealer, really. Then the foundations that I have are, first off I have this number seven tinted skin perfection. Wow, I cannot talk. This was sent to me like 100% free from Octoly. I have quite a bit of other things in my makeup collection from Octoly, but this one was just recently sent to me and it's very silicone-y, but it's not a bad skin perfecter. Um, it, it's very light coverage, but it's, again, not, not terrible. And I also have this Pure Bare It All foundation. It's very full coverage. If you want a full coverage foundation, it can just get very cakey fast. Then the Milani Conceal and Perfect, which is a good. The Becca Ultimate Coverage Complexion Cream. And I have two of the Wet n Wild foundations, which this, you either love it or you hate it. To me, I really do not like it. Uh, the reason why I have two different shades is because this one got too dark for me in the winter, so I got this one. And I thought it would redeem itself, but really, it just is so cakey and like, it just doesn't blend very well and I don't know. I feel like a lot of other people are feel the same way about it, but then there's other people where it's like their holy grail. So right here are the Maybelline Fit Me foundations. I have the Dewy and Smooth and the Matte and Poreless. The Dewy and Smooth is my favorite foundation. It's so good. I also have the number seven tinted moisturizer, which I actually really like. Then this is another thing sent to me through Octoly um, for free. This is not my favorite thing ever because it's really actually thick to be like a tinted moisturizer, which I imagine to be like lightweight. It does add a decent amount of coverage for a tinted moisturizer. So it's pretty good. And I got the shade light. And then down here, I also have another one of them. But this is just a mini size, and I believe this is in the shade Fair, which matches me a little bit better than the shade Light. In the fourth drawer, I have my bronzers, blushes, and highlighters. Okay, so for bronzers, I have the Wet n Wild Contour Palette, which I'm trying to use up this powder, so I should probably put it with my powders. The contour side isn't bad. Then the Tarte Park Avenue Princess one, and I just have the matte version, and I actually really like this bronzer. Then also the Hula Light, and I've been trying to use this up, and I actually love it. Then I have the NARS bronzer in the shade Casino, which just looks like that. Then the e.l.f. bronzer and blush duo. The blush you can barely see, but the bronzer is actually pretty decent. I also have the NYX in... Wow, not NYX. I also have the NYC Smooth Skin Bronzer, and I wish that this was sold in stores, but it's such a good bronzer. If you can find it, I would definitely get it. And then Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer in the mini, like, deluxe size when I ordered off of the website. It's also really good. For blushes, I have the Makeup Revolution Matte Blush, which I honestly kind of forget to use, but it is a good blush. The MAC Blush in the shade Dolly Mix. I have two of these mini Tarte Blushes. This one right here. Oh my gosh. It is my favorite blush of all time. It is so good. It's in the shade Party, and I got it for free at Sephora for my birthday, and it's so good. I've used it so much. But you can barely tell. Like, it, these last forever. I love Tarte Blushes. They're my favorite blush formula. And then I also have this really super bright pink one in Blissful. Then the Essence Satin Touch Blush in Satin Coral. And the Milani Bake Blush in the shade Luminoso. Along with the NYX Whipped Blush. And I love this, actually. This is actually super good. And it's in the shade Plush. Then here... Oh my gosh. I also have four of these Too Faced La Flush blushes, and they are the mini size. Like, look how cute these are. <laughs> They're so cute. I got them actually a couple years ago, which seems like a long time ago, 
but they're super good they're still good my favorite one is the shade baby love and it's such a pretty shade it is so good back here are my highlighters so i have this makeup revolution triple baked highlighter in goddess of faith then i have two of these wet and wild highlighting powders i have blossom glow which is the lighter one and then precious petals then the makeup revolution vivid baked highlighter and this one's in the shade golden lights it's actually a super unique highlighter then also this becca gradient glow and it just has like all these different shades of highlighter and my favorite one is the second one. Oh my god and the elf baked highlighter which i hear a lot about and people rave about and it's not a bad highlighter it's just not as good as i thought it would be back here i have the ColourPop highlighter in flexitarian and you can already tell like even without putting it on like it's blinding i also have the benefit what's up highlighter and it's just a stick highlighter and this is again in the mini size and another becca highlighter but this is the liquid skin perfector and it's in the shade Liquid Opal, along with the NYX Born to Glow Liquid, Liquid Illuminator in the shade Sunbeam. It It's really glowy, but it's very glittery also. Right here I have the Pixie and Aspen Overd collab in the shade London Luster, and it's super glowy without being glittery, and it's a really good natural highlighter. My favorite highlighter is this, is the Anastasia Amrezi highlighter. Holy crap. What is not to like about this? It is so good like what in the winter time it'll be too dark for me so that's why i'm trying to get my use out of it now also excuse that makeup i have on my hand but it is so good highly recommend moving right along to the fifth drawer i have my mascaras then my single eyeshadows and glitters and my eyeliners for mascaras i don't have the mini at the moment but i need to get more because the ones that i have are getting dried out but i have this eyelash curler i've had this eyelash curler since i was in fifth grade and it is my favorite eyelash curler that i've ever tried and i don't know which one it is so if you guys know what one this is please let me know because mine is crusty and i need a new one the mascaras that i have are the nyx skinny mascara which is very skinny like look how tiny that wand is <laughs> so that one's pretty good for lower lashes if you're if you like natural lower lashes then i have the lancome mascara and it's super good i also have the smashbox fun to finish lash primer which i don't really see the point of a lash primer that's why i don't really use it but it's just yeah, this mini size of the Smashbox Blast Primer. I have the Too Faced BTS Mascara, and oh my gosh, this is my favorite mascara. I love this. So good. And the Essence Get Big Lashes Volume Curl. The Lancome Mascara, and it's super good. I also have the Smashbox Fun to Finish Lash Primer, which I don't really see the point of a lash primer. That's why I don't really use it, but it's just... Yeah, this mini size of the Smashbox Blast Primer. I have the Too Faced BTS Mascara, and oh my gosh, this is my favorite mascara. I love this. So good. And the Essence Get Big Lashes Volume Curl Mascara. The only problem I have with this is that it's very flaky and it transfers. Um, but if you're just wanting to take like a picture with it, it is super good. I really like how this mascara looks. It just doesn't wear that well. Back here, I have my single shadows and glitters. So I have six of the NYX glitters. I'm not really going to get into detail which shades I have, but I do have a video up. It's like a makeup haul from a while ago if you want to see like what shades I have. I have two of these glitters, which I got from Hobby Lobby, but you can use them on your eyes. I have this City Color Shimmer Eyeshadow, which I really have not used that much, but it's really pretty. It's just I don't really use it. Then the Urban Decay Single Eyeshadow in the shade Sin, which is really pretty. And the, I don't know how to say this. It's either Meek or Meech and Mia. I don't know. It's a really pretty shade, like really pretty. I also have this Anastasia single shadow in the shade topaz i just don't have a z palette to put it in so it's just kind of chilling right back here i have the nyx roll-on shimmer and it's in the shade nude under that is the elf liquid mol molten liquid eyeshadow in the shade rose gold right here are four of the ColourPop single shadows i have i have sailor which is super duper pretty and cornelius which is a nice like transition shade and then bandit and fade in and I'm really not going to get much into all my eyeliners because I have too many, but um, the black liner that I recommend is the LA Colors Liquid Eyeshadow, not Liquid Eyeshadow, Liquid Eyeliner, and this I got from the dollar store, so it's only a dollar, and it's good. I have a few of the NYX Vivid Brights eyeliners, so I have 
the blue, pink, and yellow one. And I also have the white one. So I really like those. They just kind of crack a lot, but they're the only colorful eyeliners I have. So yeah. And then I also just have a couple eyelash glues and yeah, you can kind of just see what I have in there. I don't use eyeliner a whole lot unless it's just for like looks for my Instagram, but yeah. All right, there was a quick intermission because my mom brought me food, so. So I'm back and better than ever. So in my next drawer, I just have, okay, let me straighten those up, okay. In the next drawer, I have all my lip products. So I kind of have an overwhelming amount of lip products. And the truth of it is I don't really use lip products that often unless I'm doing looks for Instagram or YouTube. So while it is nice to have a different variety of lip shades, it's just kind of overwhelming because there's no way I can use up all of these. Like just no way. Anyways, you may be wondering what I have back here. So back here I have the NYX Liquid Suede. I ended up getting the whole Liquid Suede vault around Christmas time. But then right here I have the Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuit Liquid Lipsticks. And I just have the black one, the red one, Rebel Rose, Coral Corruption, Give Me Mocha, and the lightest shade, which is Nudie Patootie. Then over here, I mainly, yeah, all of these are lipsticks. So I have three of the Too Faced lipsticks, five MAC, lip, MAC lipsticks. Then right here are two Kat Von D. Here, let me like scoot this closer. Okay, I feel like that's better. So right here are two Kat Von D lipsticks. I got these from TJ Maxx, so they were on sale. I have three Marc Jacobs lipsticks. I have this Urban Decay one, which is a bright glittery pink in the shade Bang Bang, and two Sephora lipsticks. Then the Tarte lipstick in the shade Rum Punch. It's part of the Rainforest of the Sea collection, and it is so pretty. I love this lipstick. And then this e.l.f. tinted lip balm thing in the shade Bear Kiss. I don't really use this as much as I thought I would, but it is. But it isn't bad. I just forget to use it. Bright, bright glittery pink in the shade Bang Bang, and two Sephora lipsticks. Then the Tarte lipstick in the shade Rum Punch. It's part of the Rainforest of the Sea collection, and it is so pretty. I love this lipstick. And then this e.l.f. tinted lip balm thing in the shade Bear Kiss. I don't really use this as much as I thought I would, but it is. But it isn't bad. I just forget to use it. Right here are just extras that didn't fit in there or didn't fit the category. So yeah, I have the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm. Oh my gosh, this is my favorite lip gloss. It is so good. Then the Jordana Lip Topper thing, and it's like kind of holographic-ish. I have this NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. This ColourPop Lippy Sticks in the shade Parker. It is so gorgeous. This mini Tarte Lip Paint, and it came with my blush that I got. I have this set of three Grande Lips Lip hydrating lip plumpers. These are actually so good. I got them from Octoly a little while back. Um, I love these. They are really good lip, lip glosses. I also have this Clinique lipstick. I really haven't used this yet, but maybe in a video I might. Also this an e.l.f. It's like a gel lip stain thing. Um, it's a pretty cool concept. It's not actually this dark. It's actually like a more nudish red color. I have two Ofra liquid lipsticks, both of which are sent, were sent to me through Octoly again a while back. Um, but I have the shade Atlantic City, which is the red one, and Unzipped, which is re this really pretty shade. Then this Almay lip gloss. Um, I probably should declutter this soon, but it is pretty. <laughs> and this was my first probably high-end product in general, or like high-end product that I bought by myself but it's the Bare Minerals liquid lipstick thing. Um, it's, I think, the Gen Nude liquid lipstick thing, and it's in the shade XYZ. It is so pretty, and I still love it, so I would recommend this. Also, this Kevin Aquan lip gloss. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. I have this Glam Glow Plump Rageous Matte Lip Treatment, and it's just, yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> Another one of the Tarte lip paints, and this one's in the shade TBT. Along with the Makeup Forever liquid lipstick in the shade 109. Down here, I have the ColourPop lip, Ultra Glossy Lip in the shade Aquarius. It is so pretty. I have the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Meringue, and it's very interesting color, but it's not bad. And this Kat Von D liquid lipstick, and it's in the shade Bandit. This is a really pretty shade. It's just a mini size. I also have um, three of the Too Faced Lip Injections, and literally the one that I'm missing right now, I used today, so it's not I just don't know where it is so it's in it it's like in a nude color in the shade milkshake it is my favorite out of the three but of course I don't know where it is right now I have another NYX soft matte lip cream in the shade mm, Milan 
and this buxom lip gloss in the shade tanya not a fan of the buxom lip glosses but i mean it's cute <laughs> this came with my deck of scarlet palette which will be in the next drawer but this lip gloss is so stunning and it smells delicious like it smells like cupcakes so it's good also i have the wet n wild lip gloss and this is actually a really good lip gloss but yeah, it's just a basic lip gloss. And then all of these down here are the Too Faced Melted Liquefied Lipsticks, if I could pick them up. Um, yeah, there's a lot of them, but I, all, I got them all at TJ Maxx when there was a ton of them. Like, <laughs> I used to be obsessed with these for some reason. I don't know why, I just like to get them. <laughs> And then I have a couple things down here. I have these two Maybelline lip things. I have a full video on them. So if you want to check that out, um, it's on my channel. But I have this one. It's just a black and it has this powder that you put over it. And I also have this one, which is the bright pink and then this like bronzy shade. And it's in the shade Wild. Right down here is just this Sephora, kind of like EOS looking thing, but yeah i don't really reach for this but it's in the shade cotton candy and it smells like cotton candy so like it's cool but i just don't use it too often right down here in my second of the big drawers is my face palettes so i have two glow kits i have the sun dipped and the aurora both of which i love the sun dipped oh my gosh this anastasia literally makes the best highlighters i've already hit pan on this shade it is so pretty i love it so much highly recommend that and if one of the shades and even if there's a couple shades that are too dark for you or too light for you, um, you can use them as eyeshadows or literally anything. They're so pretty. I also have the Aurora Glow Kit, which is also super stunning. It's a really nice, colorful highlighter palette. Then this is the Deck of Scarlet palette that I was talking about, but it's the Deck of Scarlet palette, and it's the it's a collab with another YouTuber. Right here, there's two lip products, and then eyeshadows, a highlight, and a blush, and this is actually such a good palette. It's Deck of Scarlet is like a subscription service, and it was sent to me through Octoly. I also have a full video on that also, and then, oh my gosh, this is so amazing. It's the, uh, this is the Tarte Blush Bazaar palette, and oh my gosh, Tarte blushes are my favorite blushes already, and then having all of these shades <laughs> is just like amazing. Back here is just a Cover FX Cream Contour palette. And right here is the Anastasia Cream Contour Palette, and then the Kat Von D Shade and Light. Alright, and the second to last drawer is my eyeshadow palettes. I feel like this is the drawer that everybody waits for in makeup collections. I don't know, it could just be me, but I love eyeshadow. It's probably one of my favorite parts of doing my makeup, because there's just literally the sky is your limit with eyeshadow, and it's amazing. So, I'll start from the back. So I have the Jaclyn Hill palette. It is, I'll actually open all of my palettes up so you can see if you want like an in-depth eyeshadow palette collection, I can do that. But okay, so this is my Jaclyn Hill palette. It's well loved. I absolutely love it. I've already hit pan on one of the shades. Then is the Morphe 35B, which, oh my gosh, it's so sad that I don't sell it anymore. Like, but it's a really good colorful eyeshadow palette. I feel like a lot of people have it. So yeah, it's just a staple in your collection. Just. They just continued it, so. <laughs> but then I have the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette, which is really pretty, but there's not as many matte shades as I would like there to be in it. It smells amazing. Then is the Chocolate Bon Bon palette, which is actually super pretty. One look that I create with this and one of the ColourPop Single Shadows, the one in Sailor, and I love the look that it comes up with, um, but I do wish I reached for this palette more. Again, I just don't really reach for Too Faced palettes as much as I used to. Like, it's not bad by any means. And then my two Anastasia palettes, I have the Soft Glam and the Modern Renaissance. So my Soft Glam, I got not too, too long ago, but as you can tell, I haven't used it that much. I don't know, Anastasia palettes are my favorite eyeshadow formulas. So, I mean, if you like these shades, I would definitely go for it. Then is my Modern Renaissance. Oh my gosh, I love this palette so much. As you can tell... I love it. <laughs> Tempura I'm trying to use up before I go into the one in the Soft Glam palette. I've also hit pan on the shade Vermeer Primavera Cypress Umber, and I don't know, I just love this palette so much, so it's a good one, and it's a staple in your collection. I feel like just so many people have it. Then is my Naked 2 palette. I just don't reach for this palette much anymore. I never really 
did, if I'm being honest. Um, so I don't really create many looks with it anymore because there's only so much you can do with this palette. But yeah, not the biggest fan of this, but I still like to have it in my collection. <laughs> Back here are my ColourPop palettes. ColourPop palettes are some of my other favorite palettes. I absolutely love ColourPop, oh my gosh. I rave about ColourPop palettes all the time. <laughs> so I have the ColourPop All I See is Magic palette, and this palette is super duper pretty. Um, I love the formula of these eyeshadows, they're so good. Then is the ColourPop Golden State of Mind palette, and I got this palette because I spent like so much <laughs> on ColourPop, so I got this as a free item. It's an all shimmer palette or like glitter or pressed pigment, I don't know. It is really pretty, but of course you can't really create a full look on it. I did do a video where I tried to create a full look with this. It wasn't bad, but of course I like my mattes also. Then I have the ColourPop You Had Me At Hello palette. Again, a really pretty palette. And the cool thing is, is this one has a mirror, so it's very travel friendly and again, really stunning. Oh my gosh, okay, this one is so cute. I love this palette so much. It's the My Little Pony palette, and just, okay, these colors are so pretty, and I don't know, just look at, oh my gosh. It's so good. Then I have two of the Nine Pan eyeshadow palettes by Too Faced. So I have the Too Faced peanut butter and jelly one, and yeah, it's really pretty. I did create a look with it today. And then the Too Faced Natural Eyes, which I got when I was on vacation one time, and I mean, I like it, but it's really for the faint of heart. Like, you, like you, you can't create that many looks with it because it's not colorful. So every time I use it, it's pretty much just the same looks, but if you do like natural looks, but you want to splurge for a nice eyeshadow palette, I mean, this is a good one to go for, but yeah, it's not my favorite favorite. Then the NYX Ultimate Brights palette, which this is my first colorful palette. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's like kind of hard to open, but yeah. Okay, that was kind of easy actually. Um, This I don't like as much as the Morphe 35B, but it was my first one and I didn't know about the 35B when I got this. So, I mean, I liked it. Um, And I still do use it, even though I'm using the Morphe 35B more because it has lighter yellow shades and lighter green shades in the Morphe 35B. So, I mean, I do still reach for this palette, just not as much because it's not as pigmented and like blendable, if you will. And the last eyeshadow palette I have is the, um, is the Wet n Wild Rosé in the Air palette. This is a complete dupe for the modern renaissance. I have a full video up, oh my gosh, I just keep like recommending my videos to you guys, but this I again have a full video on comparing the two eyeshadow palettes very good dupe spoiler alert it's so good the very last drawer i have it doesn't have like makeup in it it just has setting sprays it has a backup of my laura mercier translucent setting powder but this one is the full size um, then there's just these empty mac products because if you turn in six empty mac products then you can get a free lipstick so i just need two more so that's really cool i also have this icing big <laughs> makeup kit thing because i got it from my uncle a couple of Christmases ago. So if you guys want me to do like a whole video like using kids makeup or whatever, I can do that with that palette, I mean. <laughs> so the setting sprays slash just sprays I have is the Ofra Makeup Fixer. Um, this one's just kind of hard to spray. I don't reach for it that much, but it's really like not, it's not a bad spray by all means. Then the Urban Decay All Nighter. This one is so good. The smell is kind of weird, but the sprayer is so good. I. It's a really good setting spray, and mine's just a mini size. Then the, this icing oil control makeup setting spray. I got this when I was first starting to get into makeup, and I was like, oh my gosh, a setting spray. Like, I'm so cool. I, I do like this when I'm, like, spraying my brushes because I don't want to waste, like, a Tarte setting spray or something just to spray my brushes because, you know, like, like it's kind of a waste. But anyways, I also have the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Marine Boosting Mist super good it smells like orange juice so i mean that's pretty cool and then this icing big kabuki brush um yeah i don't know why it's down here but it is there's just like lip balm and stuff like that all right so that is the end of this video thank you guys so much for watching this video wow i can't believe i finally did it like i wow <laughs> it's about time that i posted this video again i have this makeup because it's my passion it's what i love to do it's what i do in my free time it's my favorite thing ever, so <laughs> yeah, before you leave a hate comment, just remember that. But like, if you hate comment, I literally don't care. So yeah, make sure to comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!